Hey Corey. Okay, so leg day. Now we're getting into the lunges. These are really important. You've already warmed up your core, your glutes, your legs. The object of the lunges is to really start activating and deactivating certain muscle groups. So we want your oblique system through your entire torso to activate. And when you do that and you work one-sided movements, that's actually going to strengthen you all over. Um, that's kind of key to, to really getting into your lower abs, your psoas, your iliopsoas region. Um, also, the great thing about lunges is it opens up that hip flexor, that back leg. It activates the glute of the working leg. Um, so like I said, you have stabilizers and muscles, your oblique system to keep you from twisting. Uh, which is also going to be activated. So keep that in mind. So your shoulders and your hips should make a square or a rectangle at all times. Try not to twist. So we have Proud Warrior holding for five breaths. Right side, left side. Front to back lunges. Right side, left side. You don't even need to hold on to anything for that. So I'll do it center floor. Then we have uh, walking lunges. Um, that's optimal. If you can do it holding on to um, some, some weight, but for your first week or two, don't add any weight to any of these exercises. But eventually, I do want you to add weight, suitcase hold, to your walking lunges. Then you have your side lunges. That's really going to stretch your adductors, the muscle groups that are on the inside of your legs, so your medial hamstring, your sartorius, and your medial quad. Get a nice big stretch with the side lunges. Um, that's going to be a side lunge to wake up and energize the body, not to deconstruct muscle tissue fiber with increasing range of motion. So when I say stretch for these exercises, stay comfortably within your uh, stretching range of motion. Don't overextend any of these lunges. After your side lunges, we have back squats. That's your favorite. It's where you really you work on the back leg being weighted, okay? Um, and you can do that holding on to uh, the back of a chair, stall bar, straps. I showed you with the straps. And then your last one will be your split squats, where your foot is up on the back of a chair. And the goal is to really open that up, but drop that back knee down to the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate all of this for you. So let's go ahead and first start on Proud Warrior 1. Right side. Your back foot is flat on the floor. Your front leg is bent. Your back leg is straight. The goal is to get these hips to come around. Your shoulders follow. I'm sucking in my belly. I'm lifting my arms. I'm in a straight line from the fingertips down the spine to the heel that's on the floor, my back leg. I'm going to inhale, exhale total of five times. Set the belly in nice and tight. Do not arch. A lot of people do it like this. We're not going to arch. I want you actually to have a flat back and pull the shoulder blades down and back. Let's go ahead and do the left side. So again, flat. Both feet are flat on the floor. I'm going to pull the shoulders and the hips around. Lengthen, nice straight line through the entire body. Inhale and exhale. Really bend that front leg. Weight is even in the legs, 50-50. Okay, so five and five. Doing great. So next, after those crowd warriors, you have front to back lunges. Let's go ahead and do six. Your goal, of course, with all of these is to get to 10 reps. And in a couple of weeks, I want you to be able to get to 10, to 12, to 14. Every week, add another two reps until you get to 20. Once you can do 20, then we start adding weight. So you increase the workload volume. So let's see, I think that's five. And this is six. And we'll do the left side. So I'm pulling it up. 
My shoulders and my hips are even. And you're strong. I mean, you got to 10 really easy. So, you know, if you're at 10, go for 10. Don't let me hold you back. But every day is leg day. <laughs> so push through it. I know you can do it. So I think this is six right here. Good. Very nice. Okay, so walking lunges. It's pretty simple. All you're going to do is focus on keeping those shoulders and those hips forward. And you just lunge front. You're like three to four steps. And then turn around. We do that one more time. And I'm landing heel of the foot very close to my hips. I'm not falling forward. I'm dropping the foot heel first. Then I'm taking that lunge. Whew, great. Walking lunges. So eventually suitcase hold some weights with that. We have our side lunges. So feet are parallel. Pin your big toe your pinky toe, and your heel down to the floor. So you're going to really stretch, but it feels good. It's not a hardcore stretch. It's just a feel good, open up the hips, open up, oxygenate the inside of your thigh, kind of a stretch. So this is three, and three, four, four, Six, seven, seven, eight, eight, up to whatever you're at, nine or ten. Make sure you're marking all of this off on the sheet that I have given you. You have your workout plan. Print this up so every day you can keep track of where you're at. Back squat. All your weight's going to be on that back leg, drive to the heel of that back foot. So you have the modification of this I'll show to you next. If you don't have the TRX straps, you can do this as a pistol squat. And of course, you're not going to do a full pistol squat. We'll modify it. So let's say that was 10. I think I just did six. You don't do it the same way each time, but if you don't have the straps, go ahead and do it this way, where you're driving through the heel of that bottom leg. So I'm stretching, driving through the heel of the bottom leg, stretching all the way through the heel of the bottom leg. <laughs> So that's six. Your goal is 10, 20, whatever. And then finally you have your split squat. Let's go ahead and do three on each side. I think that's where I started you at. So your hip is going to be even. I'm driving straight down and up. So it's a really intense one-legged squat here or lunge. One more, makes three, because the first one, bad form, did not count. So here we go, three on the other side. Make sure I have this right. Is this good? Yeah, that's pretty good. I think this is a good form. I'm going to count that as one rep. Two. And three. So, those are all the lunges I want you to do. Focus on those with good form. Happy leg day. You're doing great. Keep it up.